Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll start with alkenes. What are alkenes? Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Please note they are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They have at least one double bond. They can have more than one double bond also, but they should have minimum one double bond. For example, ethene, if you see there is one double bond. Correct. They are also called olefins. Why? Because the first stable member of this alkene series, that is ethene, was found to form oil, oily liquid, on reaction between a long time back when it was discovered. That time the names were not there. So they, they, they told it olefins because it used to form oils on reaction with chlorine. Correct. The first member of this series is methene, CS2, but it is very, very unstable. It has very short life. So we generally say the first member is ethene. The first stable member is ethene, but the first member is Methene here, but it has a very short life, right? And the sigma bond is sp2 hybridized. In this case, if you see here, this is also my ethene, and this is also my ethene, right? So this is my carbon here, and this is my ethene. So if you see, these are all sp2 hybridized, sp2 hybridized, right? And we have discussed more about the structure of this in the past chapter where we talked about the structure of ethene. So if you see, each of these carbon is sp2 this one is also sp2 hybridized right. so we talk about the homologous series of ethene i have ethene i have propene i have butene and these are my structures ethene this is propene and this is butene and the general formula for this analogous series this is cnh2n so an alkane it was cnh2n plus 2 here it is cnh2n we put n is equal to 1 this becomes CH2, it is methane, which is very unstable. So we don't consider that. We put N is equal to 2, this becomes C2H4, that is ethene. We put N is equal to 3, this becomes C3H6, that is propene. Put N is equal to 4, this becomes C4H8, that is butene. So it is ethene, propene, and butene. And there are pi bonds in this alkene, so there is a good effect of pi bonds. So pi bond is a weaker bond due to poor sideways overlap. Also, this pi bonds has a lot of uh, mobile electrons. So you see, this is my ethene. These pi bond, this pi bond actually, this has a lot of electrons here, right? So this is easily attacked by electrophile because electrophiles loves electrons. We have extra electrons roaming around here, there, so they are vulnerable to attack. So they are not very stable, they are vulnerable to atta attack. And since if you see, this is a pi bond is a weaker bond and that's why you, you must have seen the resonance pi bond takes part. Sigma bonds are not broken because sigma bonds are strong, uh, stronger bonds and pi bonds are weaker bond, right? So as I told you, presence of pi bond makes alkenes unstable molecules as we compare them with the alkene. Compare with alkene, alkenes are unstable. We'll talk about nomenclature of some of the alkenes. The longest chain of the carbon is selected, which should have double bond. The longest chain with double bond is selected. And then the numbering is done so that we get the minimum numbers actually, and suffix ene is used. So we'll not cover this nomenclature in detail because in the last chapter we have covered that. So if you have doubts in the nomenclature of alkenes, please watch my previous chapter videos on the basics of organic chemistry. You see, this guy is methyl but one e because this is my longest chain, right? So meth it pro but which has the but at uh, this is my first, second, third, and fourth. At third position, I have methyl group, and I have but at second, first position, I have a double bond, so one e. So it's meth three methyl but e. This you take one, two, three, four. The longest chain I have, right? And I just number them. So at first and third position, I have e. So it's buta 1, 3, di e. So now we have some structural isomerism of alkenes. Similar to alkenes, we'll see structural isomerism in alkenes also. So ethene and propenes have only one structure, but high alkenes have different structure. For example, if you take C4H8, it is butene. Right? So this guy has three structures, one, two, and three. So we'll take some examples. We have to write the different structures for this alkene C5H10. C5H10 is by pentene. So let me draw the first structure to be 
straight chain 1 2 3 4 5 correct now I can put double bond here it will be one structure or I can put double bond here it will be another structure if I put double bond here it's all same if I put double bond here it will be same as this these are the two structures possible for straight chains now we'll try with the four carbon in the straight and one in the branch let's put the carbon here if I put carbon here it will be straight chain again if I put carbon here it will be straight chain there if I put here or here it's all same right now with this structure let me try to put double bond I can put double bond here or I can put double bond here but if I put double bond here it's all same I can put double bond here or I can put double bond here also that's only possibility now let's try for the three carbon here and two carbons here but in that case I can I'll not be able to put double bond so I'll not take the structure correct because I have to have one double bond so I'll keep these are my structures so if you see this, this name will be pent one e you can put hydrogens remaining hydrogens this will be one two three four five so this will be pent 2e this will be 1 2 3 4 so it will be 2 methyl at second I have methyl mute 1e correct similarly this guy so I have to number 1 2 3 4 so this will be 2 methyl mute 2e correct now this guy I can number from here and here but this is double bond here so let me number from here this will become 3 methyl and then I have but 1 e but 1 so these are my 5 possible structure isomers from algae correct now the question is why should we study geometrical isomerism for algae because there is a new topic of geometrical isomerism we are trying to do introduced for alkene till now we have talked about structural isomers right so we have geometrical isomers also in alkene we have talked about geometrical isomers in the previous chapter where we talked about what is geometrical isomer we have some chiral center and um, we have cis and trans isomers right and they have different uh, properties so the question is why should we have or why should we study geometrical isomers for alkene when we talked about alkene, we never talked about geometrical isomerism, right? We talked only about structural isomerism. But when we are talking about alkenes, we are talking about geometrical isomerism. So why, what happened and what forced scientists to introduce a geometrical isomerism term for alkenes? Let's see this. So we have a C4HA, hence butene. For this butene, they expected isomers were 3, right? So scientists expected 3 isomers for Beauty. One was this guy straight chain. The other was also straight chain, but in this case I have bond here. And the third was a branched one where I have this. So I got this branch one. This three isomers of butene we expected. This is but one in. This is but two in. And this will be two methyl propene. Right? Three, three isomers of butene we expected, but Experimentally, it was found that there are four isomers of beauty, right? This is theoretical. So theoretically, based on the structural isomers, the, the scientists expected that there has to be three isomers for beauty. But experimentally, scientists found that there are four different isomers. isomers of beauty and all with different physical properties right so the careful study reveals that if you see the but 2 in this guy actually this guy so careful look or study you can say that reveals that if you see the but 2 in they have two isomers they have two different isomers they have two different orientation of groups about double bond. So if you see this guy, so these were the two possible options we had. 
these both are if you see but to e right so both if you see are but to e but if you see in this case both the cs3 group are in the same side both hydrogen is the same side so see in this case both the cs3 are in different right and this hydrogen is in the same different side correct that's what they have found so logically if you don't know about geometricalism you you geometric isomerism you will think that butene will have three isomers but experimentally it was found that butene had four isomers four different compound with four different physical physical properties so they were amazed and then they found it again the proper careful observation that butene exists in two different forms see both are butene but these two are having different physical and chemical properties right so both has same formulas both has same formulas both has same name butene but they have different physical and chemical properties and that's where the need of a new term called geometrical isomerism came correct so because they found that butene they are two different compounds and both are butene but both have different physical and chemical properties so they thought about a new term called geometrical isomerism which can explain the concept correct so if you see the geometrical isomerism arises when atoms and groups are arranged differently in space due to restricted rotation and that's why we didn't have this geometrical isomerism in alkene because in alkene they are all single bond there was no restriction in rotation and we talked about conformations where these uh, hydrogens right keep rotating but in this case the double bond the rotation is restricted right it can't move so we talked about geometrical isomers because of the difference in arrangement correct so the isomers of types in which the two identical atoms are in the same side they are called cis isomers and the one in which the identical atoms lie in the opposite side are called trans isomers for example in this case these guys are both my methane methyl group so in this case if you see both cs3 are in the same side they are called cis isomers both hydrogen on the same side cis isomers here we see my cs3 cs3 are on the different side hydrogen hydrogen on different side so they are called trans isomers correct so just by going by with the iupac names right so this are same right? but they but they have different physical chemical properties they has to be different names for this so they call it cis isomers and trans isomers correct and this happens only when you have a double or triple bond in fact double bond the triple bond there will be only one guy here actually so because of the difference in uh, uh, i mean because of the restricted rotations they have this kind of structures for example this one if you see this is cis with the chlorine with the hydrogen in the same side this is trans because both these are in different side as i told you that the cis and trans isomers have different physical and chemical properties and that's the reason why we found it right we we, we thought that for butene there are only three isomers but actually there are four compounds with different physical properties and with that they could find that okay there are some like geometrical isomers so due to the difference in arrangement these isomers have different physical properties like melting point boiling point dipole moment and solvent so if you see this guy is my cis and this guy is my trans so got it so if you see uh, for the butene for this guy my dipole moment is 0.33 and for this it is zero because they cancel right so they cancel in this case they are not canceling they are adding up so in this case it has a dipole moment here it has almost zero i back zero dipole moment correct so there is a difference in dipole moment so this guy is considered to be more polar correct and it is observed that in case of solids the trans isomers this guys have higher melting point than cis bonds so they have different dipole moment they have different physical and chemical properties let's see some example we'll draw the cis and trans isomers for these polar compounds and write their iupac name So this guy CH Cl. So I have C here. I have chlorine here. This is one isomer where we have uh, this is trans actually. Other can be cis where I have both the chlorine one side 
and both hydrogen in one side. So this will be what this will be cis. It will be the name of this. This will be at one and two I have chlorine. So one two dichloro ethene. This will be trans, and the name will be same. Let's take this one, this guy. So I have carbon, carbon double bond. In this carbon, I have a methyl group and ethyl. So in this carbon, also I have methyl group and ethyl. Correct. So this is my cis, both are in the same side. Other I can draw where I can say this is a methyl. So the methyl is on this side in this case. This is ethyl. So ethyl is in this side. Correct. So this is in the same side. So it will be cis. What will be the name of this compound? This will be my longest chain is this guy. Right. So this is one, two, three, four. Third and fourth, I have a methyl group. So three, four. Dimethyl 2, 4, 6 hex. At third position, I have a E hex 3. This will be same, but the name will be different. It will be trans and this whole name 3, 4 dimethyl hex. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.